Grade 5 Math, number 1111, Problem Solving, Compare Volumes. This time when we choose a strategy, we're going to make a table or a chart because we have so many different ways to, to write the base height and volume for our word problems that making a table or a chart is going to make it easier on us, okay? So the first one we have is Emma has 24 alphabet blocks that measure one inch each on their edges, see? So it's one inch square. She wonders how many rectangular prisms she can make, each with a different base configuration, if she uses all 24 blocks. So she has to think and figure out how she's going to do this. She figures there are going to be factors of 24 to do this. So she wants to make a bunch of different bases and stack them and use all 24 blocks. So she figures, well, she could do one block. She could take one block and stack them 24 high. So her, ba her, her base would be one by one and her height would be 24. She could also do two blocks next to each other and stack them 12 high. Or do three blocks in a row like this and stack them eight high to use all 24 blocks. She could do a row of four like this and stack them six high to get her 24 blocks. And she keeps playing with all the different ways. She could do two and two and stack them six high to use all 24 blocks, or four times three, or two times six. And she figures out all the different configurations. Now this table can go on and on and on because she can have all different heights and all different base sizes. But the table helps show all the different ways. See, if we just tried to write them or think of them in our head, we wouldn't think of all of them. We'd say, oh no, we already thought of that one. We're repeating ourselves. So making the table, it spells it all out and we can see each one separately, see? How about if Bob is building a rectangular raised garden for his backyard and he wants to be able to hold 12 cubic feet of soil? What are the dimensions and combinations for bases that he could use? This one probably would be the best. It looks like it's maybe three feet by four feet for his 12 cubic feet of soil. Look at this one. These would be silly. Can you imagine a garden six feet tall and one foot by two foot? Six feet is like the height of a door. Can you imagine trying to reach to pull your tomatoes off the plant if your garden was as tall as a door? That would be silly. So he's probably better off with one of these up here where the height is lower. Okay, so he thinks of the different ways that he could do the base. Okay, all the different configurations and he figures that he needs the information that he wants it to be rectangular and that it's, he wants it to hold 12 cubic feet of soil. So he's going to use this table to make all his different configuration choices. See? So making a table can help you because, like I said, it'll keep you from repeating answers because you'll say, oh, I've already got that one on the table. Okay? So that's problem solving and using a table when you've got a lot of information you're trying to sort through. We've only got one more unit until we're finished with fifth grade math, and I'll see you there. Bye.